Next is, let's also create some pop-up boxes. So first of all, if the user has not entered enough letters in a row, let's have a pop-up box that says not enough letters. So in the controller, if we come up to, if the value is enter, here we check the word, but the else will run if not enough letters have been entered. So let's create another ball, and I'll name this not enough letters, set this to false. I'll set this to true if we press enter and I'll also set this to false here so it reverts back. In the utils folder I'll name this quickbox and I'll create a method run quickbox in this new file. So we'll call this method every time we want to run a quick pop-up box that appears for one second and then pops off. I'm going to use the show dialog method and then push on and alert dialog. We need an instance of a build context so let's make that a required argument. I'm going to convert this to a block body also. In this alert dialog let's use the text widget to set a title. We'll reuse this method so let's pass in our message. So it's a required argument, and we'll just pass that here in our text. Let's also center that text, text line dot center. Now I want this box to pop off after one second, so to do that, I'm going to use a future. I'll run a future and use the delayed method. And we'll put a duration of say one second, so a thousand milliseconds, and then in the anonymous method, we can write navigator, dot maybe pop and the maybe pop will pop off our last page on the stack so that should pop off our alert dialog and to avoid an error I'm also going to set barrier dismissible to false so by setting barrier dismissible to false we are not dismissing this pop-up box until this future has run and because it's only one second that won't matter I'm also going to set the barrier color so the background color to transparent so when this pop-up box appears we just want to keep the background unaffected okay so now that we've set this up we can now run this so let's run this from our home page and we'll run it from where we've set up our consumer here so we can listen to our controller and also by running it in the home page we have an instance of a build context which we need so now we can write run quick box we have an instance of the context and now we can pass in our message not enough letters and I'll write if notifier not enough letters is true then we'll run our quick box method okay so now let's test this hot restart okay so we have an exception and it appears that we're getting this error because we're trying to run this method whilst this build method is rebuilding. So to avoid that, we can go to our quick box and in here, let's wrap this in a widgets binding dot instance, add post frame callback. So I'll run this at the very end of the frame once the build method has run and I'll add the null operator here. And by putting it in this add post frame callback, this will basically avoid that conflict and we won't have an exception thrown. So now let's rerun that. Okay, cool. So not enough letters and that's disappeared and we do not have an exception. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we can create a few other pop-up boxes. Let's go back to our home page. The game is completed and the game is won. And if the current row is equal to six, Let's run a quick box and we'll pass in a message of fuel. So good save. Then else run quick box. Let's pass in a message of splendid. Cool. Now if the game is lost, let's display the correct word. So now we should have these pop-up boxes appearing when we need them to. So let's test this. 
Okay, not enough letters. Let's type in the correct word. Splendid, perfect. Replay the game. Let's guess this on the last row. And we have fuel. Okay, cool. Now let's lose the game. And cool, we had pizza show up there. So that displayed the correct game. And now our win is down to 66%. Okay, cool. So our pop-up boxes are working well and no exceptions are being thrown. So that's nice and good. Now in our settings, we also have a pop-up box when we reset the stats. So let's replace that with run quick box. And we can write a message, statistics, reset and up here I'll make this title a little bit clearer so reset statistics okay let's also add const modifiers everywhere in the file control alt L tidy this up a little bit okay cool so now let's see how that looks okay cool so that looks a little bit better now we have our dark theme and reset statistics in a slightly different font weight. So let's update this so this is our title to make it consistent. Okay, so that looks a little bit better. Okay, so we're almost at the very end of this project. The final thing I will do is just a little bit of housekeeping. So I'm going to go through each of the files and here I'm just going to make sure all of our files have const modifiers everywhere. And we can also format our code by pressing Control alt l So I'll go through and do that for every single file. Now the very final thing is, let's go to our list of words. This is looking a little bit empty. I pasted in a list of five little words that I've grabbed from the internet and now this game should be a little bit more interesting so let's give it one final test run I'll do a hot restart so we have our dark theme and our light theme that's working well let's go in our dark theme okay so let's try and guess our word so this time it's unlikely to be pizza okay Okay, so pretty close. So it might be floor. Let's see. Okay, cool, splendid. And our tiles do the little dance and our stats box looks like it's working well. So we've won one game on the third row. Cool, and now we can replay that. And a new game has generated. Okay, awesome. So I think we've finally come to the end of this project. We've got a good basic clone of Wordle, made in Flutter, working. So I'm sure there are plenty of ways to improve the code and build on this project. So perhaps add in a database instead of copying in the words here in a list. And therefore, if there was a much larger list of words, we could make it so the words could not repeat, so we could remove them from a list. And we could also add in, say, a button to share the results. But I think we can leave this project here I hope you have enjoyed the video and picked up some tips to help you with your flooded journey. Cheers.